Hey everybody, if you're buying a home right now, I wanna give you a few tips and using the Ackerman principle, which is a negotiation tool that I derived or I first was exposed to from Never Split the Difference. It's a great negotiating tactic. Here's what you need to do. So let's say the price is $100,000 and you set your target price 5% below that or $95,000. You start with the end game in mind. The first thing you're going to do is you're gonna make an offer at 65% of the 95,000. So you start with 65% of 95,000. In this case, that would be 61,750. Always round down or round up. It just makes things easier. What this is going to do for the seller is set a low anchor. The seller is gonna look at this and they're gonna say that's a, that's a low ball offer, but it's also going to bend their reality. It's going to change what they think their home is really worth. It's a mind game to say, whoa, I'm asking 100 and I only got an offer for 62. Oh my gosh, right? Your second offer, and this could be countering against yourself if the seller doesn't respond, is going to be moved up to 85% of your end target price, which would be 80,750. So you're gonna round up. Hopefully they are countering you in between. And sometimes in the process of doing this, you might get an offer, a counter offer, lower than your target price. Great, then you can simply readjust and insert the Ackerman principle right where you are and readjust your numbers. But again, assuming that they are coming down very small or none at all, your third offer is going to be 95% of your final end goal number, which is again, 95,000. So 95% of 95,000 is 90,250. In this case, you're gonna round down. So what is happening is you are creating the illusion that you are getting squeezed closer and closer because your counters are smaller and smaller. You set that low anchor and your final offer would be, of course, 100%. Giving a round number is not good here. You wanna give a oddball number. For instance, if you wanna end up at 95,000, make the offer 95,732. It conveys a sense of a purposefulness, a, a sense of accuracy, a sense that you've done your homework and you have a rhyme and reason behind this number. Those numbers hold more weight. And on top of that, throw in another item of non-monetary value to you, something that doesn't really cost you anything. And if you'd like more helpful tips on negotiations, you can, of course, reach out to your Nicholas Ryan team partner. Uh, feel free to follow us on Instagram, direct message me, share this if you would, like this if this has been helpful, and happy home buying. Guys, don't be afraid, get out there and buy homes. This is a phenomenal time to do it. Thanks everybody, peace.